welcome back to the series of lectures of mathematics today i am going to discuss the concept of derivatives which is very useful for the intermediate first year students as well as the class 11 students so let's get started with the topic now here the derivatives this derivatives is very useful for the 11th class as well as intermediate first year as well as it is further useful in your higher studies everywhere now this derivatives what is the concept concept of derivatives i'm going to discuss what is it the geometrical interpretation by the way what is it then next we are going to discuss in the session the geometrical interpretation such that if you know this geometrical interpretation you can have a a great grip on this right now then we are going to discuss the rules of derivation rules of differentiation okay differentiation is a process of doing derivative okay yes now these rules are extremely important for you to solve the problems they are like the missiles which like the weapons useful for the for the mathematics okay these are very very important in this i am going to discuss with you the standard formula and also the uh, um, the sum and the uh, difference formulas the product rule the chain rule product rule yes the quotient rule okay chain rule and all these and at the end we are going to have at the end we are going to have the do it yourself questions i'll be posting them in my uh, in the in uh, i'll be telling in the video this if you solve it and quickly comment in the comment section those first two um right answers i'll be naming their names in my next video okay so the diy questions i'll be posting at the end so we are going to learn all this in this session so stay tuned till the end of the class right now what is the a derivative here when we are talking something a rate of change now a rate of change so we have studied this in a uh, physics okay a rate of change of a particular quantity with respect to another quantity is nothing but a derivative of one quantity right of one quantity with respect to another so this is simply nothing but derivative so that means i'm telling that there is a change in the rate so for you to understand we can also quickly say that it is an instantaneous change we can also mention it as an instantaneous change instantaneous change so to clearly understand the derivative i'll be giving you an example if i take a circle of a particular radius now if i want to increase the radius if i'm if i'm increasing or decreasing the radius of the circle so the area of the total circle the uh, after getting the resultant circle the area of the resultant circle with respect to the radius that means a quantity here is the area of the circle the resultant circle with respect to the radius will be another one so that is nothing but the rate of change of one quantity to another that means we are comparing it and we are seeing the change the circle is been um, increased or decreased so we are seeing the change in it with respect to the radius so that is nothing but the derivative okay and differentiation is nothing but the process of the derivative finding out the derivative finding out the derivative okay so it is an instantaneous change to bring out the quantity so now we will also know we we knew, we knew what it does now we will go for the geometrical interpretation of the derivatives so by using a graph i would like to explain the geometrical interpretation here by taking the graph so if you are taking x and y now i am taking a 
curve like y is equal to f of x right here. So let me take a secant here secant it is touching the curve at, at two points. Now here the, let me suppose this point as x0 and fx0 okay and this point as x and fx okay. I am taking fx as y and fx0 as this okay this is one point and this is one point here this is x0 so if you are seeing this the secant here this uh, if you are seeing the slope of the secant if I want to find the slope of the secant a b here a b is the secant for this curve y is equal to f of x the slope is you all you have studied in your uh, previous classes y1 minus y2 by x1 minus x2 that means your fx minus fx naught divided by x minus x naught this is a slope of the line that is the secant for this curve y is equal to fx now here if you are seeing this this secant when you are telling that the x is tending towards x naught if i suppose the x is tending towards x naught that means these two points come to one point they two they they come instantaneously to one point that means it becomes a tangent tangent is a point it will touch the uh, graph the curve at one point that means if the change here the change here is x is tending towards x naught x is tending towards x naught these two points are meeting are coming close together meeting at one point that means it becomes the tangent at one point suppose that point as a so slope of tangent at a so what we discuss that we have discussed that rate of change at of one quantity with respect to another is nothing but the derivative and also an instantaneous change here an instantaneous change is happening that means the two points are x is tending towards the x naught means two points are meeting at one point so that means a they are forming a tangent which is touching this uh, curve at one point at a this is nothing but the derivative now we write the derivative as dy by dx okay dy by dx means derivative of y with respect to x okay so different the rate of change of y this quantity with respect to x now also we do write like this at the rate of this line is at the rate of x becoming to x naught x is tending towards x naught it may be 1 2 3 x is equal to any value that means the derivative is defined as a slope of a tangent at a point it is an instantaneous change and the difference of y at that means with respect to another quantity x we are finding out with respect to x okay so the notation is like this the notation how do we uh, denote represent notation is dy by dx at the rate of x is equal to x naught here we we also write the derivative as we de denote it as f dash x naught here x naught also we denote it as f1 of x0 or just simply dy by dx all these are the notations the representations of a derivative here uh, with respect to th this is a uh, at the rate of x tending towards x0 okay this th this is the geometrical interpretation of the derivatives now let's proceed to the rules of the uh, differentiation please pause and note it down Today we are going to learn the standard formula of de differentiation first then we will go for the rules of differentiation. Now this standard formula I have to, uh, before itself I have told these are the weapons for solving the problems these are the standard ones which we have to learn first and here I have noted down the functions to one side and I will write the derivative of this particular function. Now here in your textbooks you do have the 
derivation of these functions how how the derivative has come how these formulas have come using the first principle okay so that is not uh, needed if necessary if you want me to explain that first principle how do we derive this function how the derivative has come all the explanation part if you want the first principle video just comment in the comment section now let's let's start these functions here first function is x to the power of n this is the exponential one here for the derivative is as you all know the exponential just the power comes before n x n minus 1 yes when there is a power that comes before and x and minus 1. This is the standard one. The derivative of this function is this. Okay. Now, for example, if you take uh, um, x to the power of 4. If I want to find the derivative. Okay. Here, the derivative notation is you can write y dash, f dash x. Everything is the notation, representation of the derivative. Okay. So, this comes to this is a standard one. So, this simply you can write 4x cube 4 minus 1 right so that is the example part now coming to the next one k k here is a constant okay we are representing its constant the function like this is a function okay the derivative of a constant is always zero okay zero any constant so suppose if you are taking 3 4 anything d by dx of uh, 4 okay so, derivative of any constant is 0 simply. Now, coming to the third one, kx, a constant and an x. So, the derivative here, if you are taking just 3x, only the constant comes out and again d by dx of x is only 1. So, dx by dx. Okay. So, this means only the constant comes out and d by dx of x is just 1. Now, the derivative of the function root x, root of x, this can be compared to here, wherein x raised to the power of half, you can write it as half, the notation that comes before. So, this is, if you are taking d by dx of root x here, this is raised to the power of half, this half comes out as in this function, x to the power of half minus 1, that means minus half you get, so 1 by 2 root x okay you get it as 1 by 2 root x here x raised to the power of minus half so that comes down root x so this function for this derivative is so the derivative for this function is 1 by 2 root x now similarly 1 by x d by dx of 1 by x this if it comes up x to the power of minus 1 so that means derivative is minus 1 x to the power of minus 1 minus 1 Okay, that is nothing but minus 1 x ray x square if it comes down. So, the standard one, no need of doing it, the standard functions are this. So, these are the functions for the algebraic expressions. Please make a note. Sin x, the function sin x. Now, till now we have learned the algebraic ones. Now, we are going for the trigonometrical functions for them the derivatives. Okay, sin x. Now, sin x, the derivative is cos x. And whereas for cos x, the derivative is minus sin x. And for tan x, it is secant square x. Right. For cot x, it is minus cosecant square x. And for cosecant x here, cose, uh, yes, cosecant x is cosecant x cot x. There is a minus here. And for secant it is secant x tan x. Now these are the, um, the trigonometric functions, the derivatives. Now clearly how do we remember them? There, uh, If you observe that there are three negative signs. C for C, cos, cot and cosecant we are having negative signs. Likewise you can remember them for when there is C in the function. That means cos, cot and cosecant when there is C take a negative sign. Okay. For sine it is cos x the derivative. Cos is minus sin x tan is secant square. Cot is cosecant square. Here cosecant is cosecant x cot x. Whereas secant is secant x and tan x. Now 
now we are going to let's see this e to the power of x is as it is whatever it is as it is there is no change for the derivative and the function whereas we are if you are seeing a to the power of x where a is some constant for a to the power of x it is a to the power of x and log a right that is a constant here now log x the derivative of log x is 1 by x so all these 14 standard formula we are going to use make use of them in our problems okay so just remember this negative sign right now if you are taking all these derivatives now if you are taking one example like uh, let me solve for you one example derivative if y is equal to let us take an example of like cos of tan 2x suppose if I am taking an example of this now for this they are not in the standard form okay it is not of our standard form is cos x okay cos x is a function now like these examples cos of something and tan of something so these in like these examples if you want to solve if you want to make use of the standard formula we have to follow certain rules of differentiation so those rules we are going to discuss those are nothing but the chain rule uh, also the sum and the product rule the quotient rule all this uh, um, uh, rules of differentiation we are going to make use of to solve such problems okay for today's class be uh, perfect with the concept of derivative the geometrical interpretation the standard formulas no need of the derivation parts that is not so important okay so uh, with this and from Next class, I am going to discuss with you the uh, rules of di differentiation and the problems based on the rules of differentiation. Thank you all.